So what's up, everyone? Welcome to the Knowledge Boner podcast. Um, we're here today, special episode, you know, 31, and we are actually starting our, um, you know, recording this video style as well. So for those tuning in on Facebook or YouTube, you, you finally get to put a um, visual to the face. Get to see me and my, my, my Asian co-host, Wally Wynn, so they get to see what the Wally robot looks like. How's it going, Wally? What's up? Yeah, you guys are seeing my natural habitat. I, uh, <laughs> you know, for, for you guys, just a little bit about me, and Dylan knows this, but I hate t-shirts, or I hate shirts. I hate sleeves in general. Like, I, 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 I for some reason, I don't know, they, they feel weird on my shoulders. I have this, like, shoulder surgery thing going on, so I, I don't like wearing sleeves, so I'm, never, I'm typically in a tank top of some kind. Or, or shirtless, but I can't do shirtless because we're on video. So. <laughs> yeah, well, we, we both have shoulder injuries. That's, that's kind of funny. It's an ironic um, common trait that we have. Um, but yeah, so, so we're, yeah, we're really excited about this. We decided to just kind of make this step. So uh, for everyone tuning in on YouTube and Facebook, you'll, you'll be able to see the video content of those. If those of you still tuning in on Anchor, thank you so much. We're, we're still gonna, you're going to be able to tune in and hear us and everything completely fine. Uh, we're going to use this content for um, all the platforms. And um, we just ended last week uh, the lead gen series, um, which was awesome. We got a lot of positive feedback, I believe, in Reddit. Is that right, Wally? Yeah, yeah a lot of people like the posts in Reddit. Uh, not really many comments. We had some people comment some pretty funny stuff. One guy in there was like, he was like, I stopped for the boner. But then, I'm oh, sorry, wait, no, he's, yeah, that's what he said. He, he said, I stopped for the boner and then ended up staying for the knowledge, which I thought was kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. You have, to, you have to find his name. We'll give him a shout out. That's pretty hilarious. Yeah. So um, we, we want to kind of keep that theme going. And uh, this week, we're going to um, make it a productivity series. Take our podcast, for example. Um, you know, we, we have to be productive and we have to, you know, set goals to be able to accomplish this, to be able to put out episodes and content for you guys. And uh, we're going to kind of dive into to why that is. And, you know, today's episode is going to be episode one of the series. And it's going to be, uh, you know, deciding to hack your so Wally, why don't you tell them what, what, we, what do we mean by that? What do we mean by first decide to hack your productivity and why is that even important? Yeah, so I think specifically when it comes to productivity, like a lot of people think that it's, um, that, that is just kind of, I, I, don't, I don't know what the, what the word for it is exactly, but um, uh, they just think they need to read a bunch of stuff and just try a bunch of things. I don't know if that makes sense. But well, what I mean by that is typically somebody's like, oh, they, they, they look at or they see somebody in their life, like achieving their goals or they see somebody in their life that is doing something awesome and they're like man i need to be more productive in my life so then they'll go on google and then they'll get on there and then they'll be like okay how to be more productive right and so they'll get on google though they'll go to that first rank page and be on there and it'll be like a tip from a blogger and right and then it'll give them some like you know one tip life hack that they'll do and they'll do this over and over and over again and so they'll just try to be more productive um in general right but the problem is that you didn't actually like, like focus that product, the productivity or focus that energy in one spot. And what I mean by that is like a lot of people are trying, it's kind of like shiny object syndrome, right? Where people, you see a bunch of like things that you kind of want to do and then you kind of grab at them, you grab at them all, but you never actually like solve like what works for you. And, and really the, the first step and what I think is, is the most important step is actually deciding like your reason why, like deciding, okay, like I'm going to do this and what is the purpose for, for why I'm going to do this, right? And so like, for me, it was like, it's like, Hey, I'm going to do this because I don't want to work a normal job. So this is the way that you have to do it. <laughs> right. So yeah. I don't know. What exactly. do you think about that? Yeah, yeah, definitely. And, 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 and this is, this is such a hard topic. Um, because I mean, hell, even we, everyone struggles with this, right? I, I think it's, it's, it's the biggest kryptonite. Um, I know I've seen people like Darren Hardy talk about this too, when it comes to like productivity, um, at, at certain peaks of the year, um, especially summertime, it actually, it, it's crazy. Like the bulk of, of billion dollar company sales, um, come from outside of the summer, uh, summertime mm -hmm. because so many businesses and, and employees, they're, they're, it's not on their mind to get their work done, to be productive on their mind is just, God, I really wish the day would just end so I can go to the beach mm -hmm. or I could be done and enjoy, enjoy my, my summer. So the productivity drops at such a significant rate during the summertime that it costs billions of dollars. Like it's like literally half 
more than half of all their income comes from outside the summer months and they lose that, that huge ones. So really during the summertime is like the biggest peak when, when big companies are like, we have to, you know, master productivity. So w when you think of it in, in that aspect, right. And you have a business and it's, it's not just, it's not just the issue of yourself, but you have to keep your employees motivated. You have to keep them productive. But, um, but then you make that decision to step away from employee, uh, you know, being employed. And then now you have yourself to worry about, right? Because we all say, I want to make more money. I, I want to be an entrepreneur. I want to start a business. And, you know, and if that's something that interests you guys, that's why you're here. That's why you're tuning in. It's one thing to say it, but when you become your own boss, you also become your own worst enemy. It's very easy to get distracted. It's very easy to not be productive because when you're at home, maybe you guys have like Netflix and, and all this other shit and, you know, just, just these distractions in, in the house and, you know, you're your own boss. So you're going to, you know, you're, you're your worst enemy. So it, it's, it's a really interesting topic. And actually, I think it's kryptonite for, for people who actually worked in like corporate jobs. And I say like, you know, especially like people who had a boss before, like there's a lot of young entrepreneurs that are coming up now. Obviously they've never worked in a corporate job before, never had a boss. So I think it's actually, it's kind of interesting because for those, they, they have a unique struggle in that, in that because they never had a boss, they had nobody that was ever like keeping them in line. Right. But then you have the people who did work a corporate job on this, on the other hand, and they did have somebody to keep them in line. And so now it's the balance of, okay, like, did they need that support to make them like productive and keep them in, in throws or, or was it like, you know, a, an outside source of why they're you know good or good or bad at their job. Right. It's just kind of uh, that could be a whole different segment in itself. Yeah, absolutely. So, so, okay. So, so step one, you know, you're you, first, you have to decide that you're going to hack your productivity. You're going to, you're going to set your goal and you're going to decide that, okay, I'm going to be productive and I want to accomplish X, Y, Z. And, and that's what today's about is first, just, just making that decision. Because even if we go over the rest of the stuff we're going to be talking about this week in the series, it doesn't really matter unless you actually decide and commit to it. And, and I think further than that is really good, kind of what we did with this is to also set a uh, deadline. Uh, I've, I've even noticed from me and Wally that when we decide to be productive, but we also give ourselves like a deadline, it's not only does it kind of hold you accountable and it forces you to accomplish it, but it also forces you to take risks. Because when, when, you, when you have a time crunch and you have to accomplish X, Y, Z by a certain time, you know, typically if, if you don't give yourself a deadline and you'd be like, oh, well, I can, I can accomplish this whenever. And, and when something kind of feels uncomfortable, you won't really do it. But when you, when you give yourself a deadline, like, okay, this task has to be done. And I'm going to give myself by, by this week and, and, and it has to be done here, you know, or, or even if it's, if it's something that you have to do by the end of the day, which we're going to, we're going to talk about talking about setting daily goals this week um, and how to accomplish those being product, productive. Um, you'd be surprised what you can do. Um, and, and what kind of risk you're willing to take because you're like, well, oh crap, how am I, how am I going to accomplish this by the end of the day? Sometimes you're going to be outside your comfort zone, something you normally wouldn't do, but you will do it because you set that deadline. So I think, I mean, what, what are your thoughts on deadlines, Wally? Yeah, I think deadlines are really, really important. I think that, I think that they, they push you, right? They, they push you to get things done because I mean, like just you know, like the best one is like rent. That's the most easy explanation for anybody. You know, if you're struggling, if you're like right on that baseline right now, you know, when rent comes at the first of the month, you're scrambling a little bit. You're like, okay, like my paychecks come in on the second, you know, okay. So, so I've got a little, I've got like half now. Maybe I can like bargain with my, my landlord and I can give him half right now and I can pay him the other half after the second and all that stuff. So, but, but if, but if that if it wasn't an option, let's say you didn't have a paycheck come in and, and you were short rent, you would figure out any freaking way any possible way that you could to pay that freaking bill on time, right? And it's the same thing. It's the same, same way as a normal deadline in normal life, except the only difference is, is your landlord is giving you that freaking uh, ultimatum or putting that pressure on you. Whenever you do it for yourself is, by, is what, what we mean by making the decision and saying, okay, like I'm going to freaking do this. Like you put the pressure on yourself and that's the hard part to do. Yeah, abs absolutely. And um, so deadlines, decide what you want to do, uh, set deadlines, and you're going to put, okay, what task and keep them broad. So this is important because you can't be productive unless you actually lay out what you want to do. So for instance, let me, let me give you guys, I'll, I'll tell you guys, me and Wally's goal. We, we told you guys this before, you know, obviously we, we appreciate all the, all the positive feedback we've gotten from the podcast and, and, and people that have been tuning in. 
and um, you know, we, we, we love it. It's great. Um, but you know, this is new to us. We've never done this before. And here we are at episode 31. Um, and, and it started because me and Wally made the conscious decision said, Hey, we're going to, we're going to make a hundred episodes, our goal. And we gave ourselves a deadline, January 18th, judging by the calendar, uh, from Monday through Friday, consistently five episode weeks, January 18th will be, um, our hundredth episode. So we, we have a deadline and we know what has to get done. We're not thinking too much into it, right? We're, you know, we're, we're, you know, scrounging up, trying to give it, give it our best. We're still running our daily, um, our daily business. And we're, we're, we're seeing what kind of hardships we run into. We're, we're managing our, our own Facebook community right now. So if you, if you guys haven't joined that yet, go to Facebook, type in leads, closing sales. Um, meanwhile, I actually do screen shares just like this. And we, we teach stuff in the group. So you kind of learn some advanced strategies. Um, but we're doing all this stuff and still finding time here to be able to do this um, podcast for you guys because we set a goal and we decided that by January 18th, we're going to have 100 episodes. So that kind of keeps us committed. It keeps us productive. And, you know, we're, we're not thinking too much into it. We're, we're just we're taking action. I, I, I feel like if we didn't set that goal, it'd be really easy to come up with an excuse not to do an episode one day. It, it'd be really easy just to be like, Oh, you know what? Um, I know we've been consistently, you know, we're, we're five episodes in deep. You know, we did a week. Um, you know, we didn't really get a lot of feedback right away. And, you know, maybe people didn't tune in. Maybe they just didn't like it. Maybe we just suck at podcasting um, and we shouldn't do this anymore. Or, or, you know what? Why don't we just do it again two weeks from now? We'll just kind of see what happens with these five episodes. It's very easy to fall into that trap in anything that you do. But because we decided to be productive, we set that goal. Um, I think that's helped us tremendously. Would you, wouldn't you agree with that? Yeah, no, I, I agree with that 100%. And, and then like, I guess that that's kind of going to the next piece is don't set a goal that's like absolutely ridiculous. Like, like don't set it like, don't be like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a billion dollars next week. Okay, that's not happening. Like, <laughs> yeah, unless you were already making a billion dollars the week before, <laughs> this is not happening next week. You know what I mean? So like that, I guess that's the next thing is like, when you when you do make that decision, like, w look at the decision and say, okay, like, how can I break that up? into into goals that are actually achievable that are measurable that make sense right because obviously like if you're listening to this podcast you're hanging out with us like you know they all want to build a, an awesome business together or either together as a whole or we help you build it and you know you from our free value that we're giving you doesn't doesn't matter to us either way we're all trying to build something together right so um you know the fact that we're all trying to build something together is is in it's just so I don't know. Like, are you following me here, Dylan? Does it make sense? Yeah, absolutely. It, it, it's very important to not overreach. Um, when you're being productive, like consistency is the key, right? Yeah. So when, when we looked at this from a logical standpoint, it's like, okay, how can me and Wally just be consistent? How can we deliver value to our viewers and, and, and be here for you guys and teach you guys and, and tell you guys our, our, our fuck ups, right? That's what this is all about is to be real with you guys. Let you know when like, Hey, we, we fit, we, me and Wally learn new shit every single day and we try and test different things. We fuck up all the time. That's how we grow. That's why we get better. And we share those fuck ups with you guys here. That's what this is all about. Yeah. Right. Those, are the, those, are those tiny goals. Think about it. Like those, those little achievements, like we're making like little micro goals say, okay, like if we figure out this piece then this will help us get a little bit further and a little bit further as we go. So it's not like, so obviously the end goal is to say, Hey, like we want this, this vision right here, but we understand that it takes incremental times and learning and training to get to where we want to go. Exactly. So, so we never, we would never start, uh, um, you know, if, if you're watching, if you're listening to this and you're like, Oh, well, you know, this is the formula. Like we want to start our own podcast. You wouldn't just from day one be like, okay, we're, we're going we're gonna to launch a podcast and the goal is we're going to have uh, a million viewers like tuning in you know, two weeks from now. We're going to go hardcore all out and get them all in. No, that, that, didn't, that, that never even crossed our minds. It's like, okay, how can we just be consistent and, and put out content and be consistent enough long period of time? So let's make 100 episodes our goal. That's something that we can achieve. And, and, and whether it's something like simple as this, guys, or if it's a, uh, an income goal, whatever it is, consistency and small wins is key. So what I mean by that is if you want to, you want to master being productive, okay, and, and, and money is your goal, make something that you know that you can win. Like let, let's, say, let's say you are in a job right now, and, and you're just not ready to make that leap and, and be an all-in entrepreneur. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with making side income. But if you're averaging $3,000 a month, okay, you know, you know no matter what, you put in your hours – and you, you master $3,000 a month working your job. 
what's something that you can do at your job to increase your income the next month? $500. What can you do, whether that's extra time, extra hour commitment you're putting in, maybe something on the side you can do from your boss that will give you a little bit of a, uh, of a jump. Um, maybe it's an extra dollar per hour, whatever it is. What can you do next month to be like, you know what? I want to make an extra $500 this month. That's a small win. That's, a, that's an achievable win. That's something that you can be consistent with every single day that month to, to accomplish $3,500, going from $3,000 to $500. And then when you do it, something amazing happens. Your brain's like, holy shit. Like, I was just, I was productive. I was consistent. This was my goal. I made $500. Now, guess what? Now you can stretch it. Wow. You know, I, I, I thought outside the box. I spoke to my boss. He gave me this extra opportunity. I just made an extra 500 bucks this month. You know, what? Can I, can I do 1000 the following month? Can, can I get an additional 500 on top of that? I know I can. I just, I just made $500. I was productive as shit, right? So that, that's the key. That's really the biggest secret to productivity, guys, is, is not overreaching. And, and, you know, I know, I know Wally's talked about this story before in his past business um, that he had where I, I was even shocked. I mean, their goals were like, I mean, you guys were shooting like for a million a month within a few months or something like that, like something high. Yeah, yeah. It was like within a year, it was like very, very, like the numbers are very, very high, like very, very skewed. <laughs> yeah. I, I think those small wins are, uh, are, are, are key first when you build up to it and then you can make those you're going to hit a point in your business where, and, and me and Wally aren't even, even there yet, but there's going to be definitely a point in your business where um, you're able to kind of make those big leaps, like those kind of like 10 X leaps to where like, you know what, Hey, let's say you hit a hundred thousand dollars. You're like, Oscar, oh, let's 10 X this. And this next year we want to go for a million, right? That's, that's something where you've already kind of set in stone your productivity habits. Um, you already have income coming in to where you can test out different strategies to make quantum leaps. So it is possible to do that. But in the very beginning, whatever it is you're doing, like I have no intention. There's no way like for those listening in right now where I'm going to be like, okay, I want, I want 100,000 listeners by the end of the month. I mean, that'd be absolutely insane. I, don't even, I wouldn't even know where to start with that. It'd be so over, overwhelmed. And I can, I can put blue content out till we're, we're blue in the face doing five episodes a day. And it, it still probably wouldn't achieve having 100,000 people tuning into this, right? But on top of that, we would hit some like, we did all kinds of stuff. Like there's other factors in there too, like content fatigue and all that stuff. Like we, like obviously we want to deliver you guys value, but we don't want to deliver you guys uh, saturated value. So what I mean by that is you guys have that friend on Facebook or Instagram that is, that is posting too much crap. <laughs> you know, it's like, it's like five times a day they're posting like hashtag entrepreneur. Oh, I'm in my coffee shop doing the grind. Um, well, and, uh, they, <laughs> you, know, you don't know what, well, maybe they just read, um, the 10 X rule. <laughs> they saw, they saw, they saw good old uncle G's method um, for, uh, <laughs> but uncle G's a little different. Like he has a certain intensity to him. I'm just saying like your average Joe blow 19 year old to, to 24 year old, just now beginning entrepreneurial journey. Like you, you're not an entrepreneur yet. You, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta put some time in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, You're an aspiring entrepreneur right now. <laughs> yeah, so so that that that's really step one um, to kind of kick off the series, guys. Is is you know decide decide you're going to be productive. Um, set a goal that you can uh, be consistent with and achieve, and and don't overreach. And if you do that, and then you you label these out your daily tasks, which we're going to go into uh, later this week, into um, you know things such as your your daily motivation, your MVPs. Um, how to put in your 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 uh, routines and 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 networking and contacts stuff like that, and um, probably tomorrow or the next day we're also going to uh, share with you guys a new software that we just released that we're very excited about, um, and and we'll go into details on that after we kind of teach you the content. And I think you're really going to like it. It's going to help you guys with your daily activities, especially if you like using um, Facebook Messenger. So. Uh, with that being said, again, you know, uh, if you guys want to know more about this kind of stuff, you know, please go to Facebook, uh, type in Leads, Clothes, and Sales, check out our Facebook group. Um, thank you guys so much for the support. Make sure that you're following me and Wally on Instagram. Wally, why don't you let them know where they can reach out to you on Instagram? Yeah, they can find, uh, you can find Dylan at Dylan Star Official. Um, and you can find me at Wally underscore the robot on Instagram. That's also, and that's Dylan's Instagram tag. That's also my tag on Reddit. Uh, Love being on Reddit. Uh, like it's pretty funny interacting with some people. I, I feel like that's kind of like more my people. I kind of say that to Dylan. You know, I'm I'm 
I used to spend a lot of time on Reddit before, but now, you know, being in there posting and like interacting with everybody is pretty fun too. So definitely check us out on Reddit. And then guys, Leads Closing Sales Group, like, oh my God, the knowledge bombs. Like you gotta, you gotta get in there. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, tons, tons of knowledge bombs, guys. Like we, we are, um, we, we talk about our, let, let's put it this way. You guys listening in, you, we talk about our failures. We talk about our tests, but when you're in Leads Closing Sales, you get to see what we're testing. You get to see how we're testing stuff out, what we're building, um, you know, what we're doing to reach out to business owners and, and get clients and, and all these strategies and stuff, kind of over the shoulder training. Uh, it's really cool. It's really cool. And um, you know, the, the group's growing. Uh, people in it are, are loving the content and stuff. And uh, I've been doing a lot of, um, a lot of value actually these, these past couple of days. And um, Wally's doing a lot of content curation kind of in mass production right now. He's about to be pumping it out in there. So really excited to see the stuff that Wally's going to be giving you guys for value. Um, all types of tech building and stuff like that. Maybe simple websites. Um, what, do you, what, what, what kind of stuff do you think you, you'd like to teach for those people that are listening in right now to the podcast? And if they were to come to Leads Closing Sales, what, what, what kind of stuff would you like to teach them? Uh, right now, I'm going to teach you really just lead gen. But specifically, when it comes to lead gen, it always comes down to copywriting, Right. And so copywriting is, is just basically how you sell stuff in word form. And so that, that's really what I've studied. That's really what, I, what I've been trying to become a master and become really, really good at. And so that's really what that's, I'm thinking that I really that bring value in that specific aspect. Because everything we do is related to copy, like writing emails, you know, doing our bot stuff, everything, right? <clears throat> yeah, awesome. Yeah, so if you guys really want, want some serious knowledge boners, some aha moments and, and some, some good gold nuggets, definitely, definitely go check out the Facebook group, tune in. And thank you guys so much. We will see you guys tomorrow for episode two of the productivity series and we are out.